taking a beating. Ooh, that looks like it's moringa right there. Okay, the first of believe Belize have been logged for over 300 years, primarily for export, which got started anywhere between 1600 by the British settlers. And yeah, that is moringa. So the reason why I'm out doing this one is because I was looking at like just little things that you can do to improve your economy. Right now at this current juncture and this phase I don't think we will expect to see growth from some of these different things. But the beauty is you can start planning and prep for it in the foreseeable future. So I found out that rosewood grows widely throughout Belize and not just Belize in Latin America which is Central America and parts of South America but the northern region of that area. Then I also found out that rosewood was a product that you know could be found nationwide right but it's also might have been over harvest in you know in some of the districts like for example in Kaya but right now currently it's mainly been grown or it's in abundant in the Toledo district and the reason why I was saying that because I also found out that rosewood is a material the that is dense it's beautiful and I found out that rosewood and mahogany are used in the making of guitars, violin, drums, and piano. So like harvesting the seeds would be great to start, you know, growing it just because of the value of it. So a little bit more history. Rosewood is strong, it's dense. It's heavy and it's extremely beautiful. It has a brilliantly high glass like finish when polished with the proper sealing. Uh, I would say sealing, I mean, like maybe stain varnish when it's done naturally. So it has a glass like finish. So, as we all know, Belize was once known as British Honduras. Kind of just going back just a smidge due to the fact that this thing is about timber and the harvesting of timber. So the economy of British Honduras back in the day was primarily built on a non-plantation base like which they started extracting uh, exotic woods from here. I'm going to use the word exotic because yeah it was primarily being done for um, exporting purposes.
and this was in the 18th and 19th century where it was the economy was primarily based on log the export exporting of logwood timber which would be for repair of ships furniture and other household items and the main reason why Belize was called British Honduras back in the day it wasn't because um, it wasn't primarily influenced by the name of um, Honduras but it was due to the fact that both Belize and Honduras use the Bay of Honduras which is the sea it's an access point that both Belize and Honduras currently use so I don't know how many people know this but I also found out that the Mayans also use timber and hardwood in their architecture in their temples and other structures I also found out that um, certain types of logs and also you can get blue black and purple textile dyes from some of these different types of hardwood hardwood and it's from the red hardwood to be exact so maybe that's another future thing that we can look into to see how you can use those types of things to create opportunity so this the red heartwood it's either red heartwood or red heartwood the heart either goes directly attached to the red or to the wood that's the type of tree that um, you can get the black blue and purple textile dye from and it was first exploited by the Spanish in Campeche Bay in Mexico So logwood was a great economic commodity for both the Caribbean and Europe. afternoon so uh, the types of wood that um, is similar to the red heart wood is blood wood and podak wood so there's three different types and all of these different types of wood that shares the same qualities um, will become brown once they come in contact with the UV rays so if they're in directly in the Sun it will change from red to brown I also found out that uh, Sapadilla has the same um, similar qualities as the um, red heart wood and it's a species that is native to Central America the Caribbean and parts of uh, the northern South American region so I've definitely used this type of material to do carpentry with is the mangrove wood and it also 
gives off that red or has the qualities like the red heartwood and I'm pretty sure that some of the same different types of all these different types of hardwood can be used in the instrument making industry and then I know some of them can be used to make furniture and I do believe you might be able to use some as you know I know I've done projects where I've used the mangrove and the sapadilla wood inside the house to build you know products with use it as trim baseboards and different things cutting boards possibly could maybe use it to make boats and stuff <laughs> 